All right, so this is the Citizen app, and it's really cool because they have SDRs which listen to police radio. I don't know in how many cities, but it's very active in Los Angeles. And I'm not sure how much of this is done by humans and how much is automated, but when there's certain call-outs, um, depending on your phone's location and, and what's happening, they will actually alert you and provide a, a snippet of the police radio. And when they have the audio, they actually also have a transcription. So this was the inspiration for what I'm about to show you. Henry John, 997. All officers are accounted for suspect male, white, black, high, black over black, black, panty pack. Information only requests that officers canvas the area. 21415 Henry John, 997. So the transcription is actually really good. Like I said, I'm not sure if they're using people to do this or um, some automated service. But this was the inspiration for what I'm about to show you. So what I've got going here is the SDR trunk software is running in the background. Um, you should be able to hear some call outs. Okay, domestic dispute in RD-161. Uh, I'll, I'll mention why that's relevant later. But I didn't want the audio to just keep chattering away. It's just so much going on uh, in Los Angeles. And um, what I've done is configured SDR trunk to save each call out. So that's like the start of the transmission to the end of the transmission to a, a wave file. That wave file is being written to some directory in, in the Linux file system. And there is now a Python script that I've written with the help of um, ChatGPT and also some GitHub references. So I'll, I'll put a link to the uh, GitHub sample code where I'm monitoring that folder for new files. And then once a new file is detected, I look to see if it's like long enough because uh, I want to ignore the short calls that are just not very meaningful. So if it's like eight seconds or longer, what I'll actually do is take that wave file and send it to the cloud. I'm using this service from AWS called um, Transcribe. So I'll send it to the cloud and it will uh, convert the audio to a text snippet and send it back down to the Pi here. And what you're seeing is, is all the events that have been, been going on. So the one we just heard was uh, yeah, domestic dispute and RD, it heard is already 161. But this is okay. Like the quality right out of the box from AWS is it's kind of all right. It's not, it's not great, especially, you know, it's not tailored for this police radio application. It's just m more for like how I'm speaking now. I'm sure, I'm sure it would transcribe how I'm speaking now um, much better than, than the police radio. Um, but the cool thing is you can train the model with transcript. So um, if I take a bunch of these files, which I've already done actually, and send them to a company that uses humans to transcribe the text manually, I can just take those text files. I don't even need the audio files and upload them to uh, my AWS account and custom train the transcription model to be more accurate for uh, these police radio events. It'll, it'll, it'll pick up on, on the language that's being used, uh, keywords, new words that it doesn't really know about. It'll pick up on all that and uh, enhance the quality of these transcriptions. But for my purposes, I think this is pretty good. So what I'm interested in is these like RDs. So the RDs are um, reporting districts and, and there's a code like a, a three or four digit code, which is kind of like a zip code of where the event is occurring. Um, but it's like much more narrow than a zip code. It's like basically encompasses like a couple blocks. So you can tell where events are occurring with this um, number. So I think this is really cool. There's a lot of potential applications here. Like, like I said, I mean, you, basically you can make a citizen style um, alert system 
that's more tailored to what you're interested in. So on Citizen, I actually notice that I get a lot of events I don't care about, and I see events here or hear events on the radio that I, I wish I saw on Citizen, but for some reason they didn't deliver to me. So um, this can be very customized to different applications. Like if I want to know what's going on in, in my RD, I could potentially just have this alert me when it hears that um, without me having to like constantly listen to all the chatter, which is very overwhelming. Um, also, if there's certain keywords that I'm interested in, like, I don't know, a shooting or, or felony, or, or you can think of all kinds of crazy things that you could, you could wait to pick up on um, before maybe it sends me an email or something. So yeah, guys, that's the project uh, as it stands right now. I definitely have plans to custom train the language model and even add, you can, you can add a, a custom dictionary. So um, if the police say like 918 occurred, um, it can actually decode that in the transcription. Like you can define whatever 918 means and, and how it'll be displayed um, on, the, on, on, on the app here. Um, so yeah, definitely have a lot of cool plans for this. Let me know if you have any ideas and if you'd be interested in such a thing, um, because I think if I get the quality on this high enough, I can start maybe even just publishing this data to a website, uh, overlay it on some kind of map, and, and you can you know, subscribe to certain areas or some types of events. And um, yeah, I'd be really interested in, in doing something like that.